What is up everybody, Chris and the rest of the gang here at Team Aquascape. You can see I'm already plugging along. We have an incredibly fun and very, very fast pondless waterfall that we are gonna do today. Our goal is to get this done right after lunch. Can we do it? If you think so, let us know in the comments below. If you don't, let's make a bet. All right, let's go. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Jack's excited, I'm excited, the rest of the guys are excited. We have already fired up and gotten right into this thing. You see we've got something that you don't always see on our channel, but some treated six by six timbers. We are building a retaining wall. It is going to be a retaining wall that'll be about two and a half feet tall. We're gonna bury the bottom course and a half. We need to build that retaining wall to hold back our berm because right here in this area, we are doing a six large block, small pondless waterfall. We've got some good size granite that we're gonna use. Like when I'm talking good size, I'm talking the 18 to 36 inch range. I really want this thing to be dramatic so that they can see it from inside their house as well as from this gorgeous living space. They've got a fire pit here, dining room, outdoor dining room table there. This is what used to occupy this space. This silly little concrete fountain that leaked, water turned green and just was not functional. We we're going to replace it with something that's sustainable and going to last a lifetime. So like I said, we're going to work on that retaining wall first and then we'll start digging the aqua blocks and then you'll see the real magic happen. See Juan kind of finishing off the final grade. We're about 10, 11 inches down there. That's our low point. Cool little veggie garden. This is our low point over here. So I want the bottom course to be buried. We are gonna work some dead men going back into the hillside or the berm just to help lock everything together. But we wanna make sure that we get these elevations right. Then we're gonna use some of those limestone chips. We're gonna use that to level off our base down here, get our timbers nice and level. And it's just basically an L shape. We're gonna run about a three and a half foot offset from the fence to still allow for traffic to come through here. But we will butt that timber wall right up to the back of this veggie garden. And then back in there will be where the waterfall starts. So we got Chris and Luis down here. Put us up the basement. We've got six large aqua box. The footprint of it is roughly, I don't know, about a four by six foot footprint, give or take. What we always want to do is we always want to sink the aqua box down so that the top of the aqua block is recessed below existing grade here. What that allows us to do is allows us to run gravel and rocks on top of the aqua blocks without sitting so much higher above the existing elevation over through here. So we're just going to kind of get this all leveled off. We really didn't run into any roots from this tall blue spruce right here but once they get this kind of cleaned up i'll lay an aqua block down and i'll show you exactly what i mean by that our pump vault is going to be located back over here i think today i'm actually going to run it in the middle of the three aqua blocks allowing us to get a rock right off of this corner and really change the shape but you can see we're throwing all that dirt back up against that beautiful retaining wall that unfortunately you'll never see but is freaking bomb proof jd and dan have a carpentry background so you can tell that they paid very close attention you see this six by six right here this is a dead man going back into so it's actually running perpendicular so it's actually sitting right here it comes out to about here and all the way to that dirt is going to help keep this wall in place and nice and plumb up and down let me come around to the back side here so you can just see here's that walkway that we wanted to make sure we maintained in through here just allowing access to and from we also had some utilities in through here it looks like a phone and or cable lines are all buried in through here so you always want to be careful of that stuff because that stuff is very rarely much further down than actually here so these cables we always like to know where these are at because they are very very lightly undergraded if buried at all so some utility companies do not like to dig the aqua blocks in you can see Luis has the level sitting on top of the patio and you can see that's a good eight nine inches from the top of the blocks to the bottom of the level there which is perfect because the size of some of these rocks especially like that one is about one of the thinnest rocks we have so we just want to make sure that these rocks aren't sitting all the way up here and we're getting them as close to that patio so they don't become a tripping hazard and look like like a sore thumb in here so perfect we'll just finish cleaning this up get our pump vault placed get that dug out and then we can do fabric liner fabric aqua blocks and pump vault. So 
there's that fabric and we have our liner and then we have fabric underneath we're gonna go ahead and get the fabric kind of laid in get all the folds out that we possibly can just so it helps those aqua blocks that are sitting right there sit down nice and level we've got a 15 by 20 liner which is more than enough we extended it past the footprint of the basin that way in case we want to carve in a boulder back behind that pump vault to help hold back some of that existing grade the reason i oversized the liner when specking out this project was i knew that i wanted to use some bigger pieces of granite in here and i just wanted to make sure that i have all the creative freedom in the world to do that so i gave myself plenty of extra liner so we're gonna get the aqua blocks in the pump vault in fold that liner back over the top of the aqua box and then backfill with some fresh pulverized topsoil that we just had delivered and once we get everything backfilled then we'll pull everything back expose the aqua blocks and then we start building that waterfalls and rocking in around the top of the reservoir around the pump vault and at the same time simultaneously we can run that plumbing up over here to the top of the waterfalls which will sit somewhere back over in through there see we've made tremendous progress since our last update most of our waterfalls are pretty much built we're coming back in now with the foam gun and cleaning up or filling all these voids just so we get the water to spill exactly how we want it going over these spillway rocks we also have our bib liner going on top of our aqua blocks to get that meandering stream effect going all the way right in front of our pump vault so guys are doing a great job and catch you on the next one guys can hear the water is flowing the feature is running and i cannot tell you guys how excited i am with it being a one day no real troubles at all but uh let me turn around and show you guys what we managed to get done so as you can see, this Palmas waterfall was built and constructed out of just six large aqua blocks that basically ran a four foot by five foot basin. And this feature is built, I mean, pretty much directly on top of it. We have a two to 5,000 gallon per hour pump running to a two inch line up to our small spillway, which is underneath this rock here. The reason we did that is to get that upflow effect to get a nice cooling area up here, rather than the look of biofalls gives where it dumps out of the top lip. This way the water actually uprises and feeds all these natural looking streams throughout this waterfall. I'm really loving the way this turned out. The different elevations, not a lot of rock and perfect backyard for it. As you can see, nice tree house over there so the kids will be able to play in it too. Comes right up next to this patio so everyone will be able to enjoy it. Chris, what's your favorite part about it? My favorite part honestly is just the, the different waterfalls and the splits, you know, and the different heights of the waterfalls, you know, it's... Can't get enough of those different splits, different <laughs> elevations, adds so many different noises to it. You know, you can really hone in on which waterfall you're listening to and it's turned out awesome. Once again all this foam is just from all the different debris that comes in all the super sacks of gravel so once that all gets washed out and into the basin it'll all clear up nicely so can't say enough about how much I like this burn uh, as well. We brought in just some six by six timbers and used all the dirt obviously as you see on all our other builds that's excavated from the basin and just threw it up on top so tied in nice to this planter and looking forward to the next project. See you guys on the next one.